My plan for today, as I always say, make plans, plan out your trips, all of that sort of stuff. I am meant to be in Row Park, um, which is a, uh, quite a nice country park, but it's about half an hour's drive from home. And um, I left the house and noticed a lot of mist swirling across um, a little lake that's not that far up the road from me, it's like a private fishery. So it's just like, right, okay, if there's mist, and there's mist in the water, there's only one place I need to go and that's Portland Old Forest so I've literally spent probably a good hour and a half down here bolted down to the river um, got a few shots some lovely autumnal colours some nice reflections um, loads of mist in the uh, just kind of hovering over the water which is really nice we've been shooting a mixture of wide and a mixture of telephoto stuff actually coming back from Iceland I found before I left um, I didn't really use the 70 to 200 that much, but I used it an awful lot in Iceland and it was almost the first lens I grabbed from the bag this morning. So it's going to be quite interesting, I think, just to see whether it's going to maybe slightly change my style of photography for now. Who knows? But uh, yeah, beautiful morning here. Beautiful morning. And uh, I actually think I'm going to shoot. We've got some really beautiful sun just coming through the trees there. So I'm going to shoot, I think, a few more um, like kind of more abstract shots with the, the longer lens and then get in the car, probably go and grab some breakfast and then head across to the road park because it is beautiful and there's a lovely river going through it with not waterfalls but there's a lot of nice gorges and I'm just hoping there's not going to be too much water but um, I was there last year a little bit too late in the year uh, to be honest so we'll probably miss the best of the colours so I'm going back again this year I know a couple of the compositions that I really want, so yeah, fingers crossed. find my composition and to be honest it's pretty much the same as I'd shot this time last year. The only issue is the light, why is it beautiful and it's actually hitting the really really lovely uh, colours of the, the, the autumn um, in the trees. The foreground is completely in shadow so all this lovely area here, lying around here, um, is, is just in shadow and I've got this beautiful little waterfall which uh, you can see here. That's pretty much going to be my, my foreground interest. And then in the distance, I've got this bridge just up here. So this waterfall is really going to be bottom left. Bridge is going to be top right. Um, about a three second exposure, just blurring the water nicely. And some lovely autumn colors right through the middle of the bridge um, and right down the river. The only issue is the sun is just hitting, you can see around here, it's hitting one little bit of the bridge and it's blowing it out. So we've got an ND grad on at an angle just to try and, and pull some detail in it. But I, to be honest with you, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna have to be a bracketed shot, I think. Um, I am exposing for the highlights and I'm gonna see and test what I can bring back out of the shadows in the Sony files, which um, I tried a few times when I was in Iceland and 
really, really amazed at what detail was actually there. So um, perhaps one exposure will, will be enough here and uh, I won't need to actually use the bracket of shots but I'm going to take them anyway just in case. Okay, so I've come actually further upstream. I almost have given up and I came back up to where I started and it's amazing in the short space of time that I've been here how much the sun has actually moved around. So whenever I came, the sun was really only lighting up one side of the river, so it was really only lighting up this side here. But now, as it's moved around, the light is actually starting to come through the opposite side as well. So we're getting much, much, much nicer lighting shooting right down the river. So I've come back here just to try and, and get another composition. Now, I'm kind of struggling with a focal length because I have the 16 to 35 and then I've also got the 70 to 200, but I'm actually finding I'm in between the 35 and 70 mil range. So what I've done is I'm shooting around about 28 mil, but then I'm using the crop mode in the uh, A7R3. So that's taking me up to, um, I know, over 35, but not far enough to 70. So it's probably in around about 50 mil or so I'm shooting at. Um, so I'm losing some megapixels, but I don't really mind because it's framing the image really, really nicely. Um, it's pretty much, yeah, I, th I think I'm, I actually think this is the image that I'm really, really going to be most excited about. Because we've got so much dab of light coming in, so we've actually got light cutting across the river but it's only hitting it in little, in little patches. So there's some of the rivers actually going to be quite dark and then there's other bits that's going to be quite bright. So I think it should give quite a nice, um, quite a nice texture to the image and hopefully it helped to add a little bit of depth to it as well. But yeah, what I'm using compositionally is just using the river um, around about the bottom right hand corner just to lead the eye as it sweeps down through the, this gorge and then obviously all the autumnal colors in the top of the frame. A little bit of blue sky creeping in as well, but I'm trying to keep that to a minimum. So, uh, almost, as I say, almost had given up and decided, you know what, I'm gonna go and have a little bit of exploring and see what I can find. So, yeah, happy days. Really, really glad that I found this composition. I actually almost don't wanna move from here because this is just getting better and better and better. We now have a herring just sitting somewhere down around there, Not even sure, down there somewhere. And it's been sitting here, I'm actually doing four second exposures and it's it's looking like it's tack sharp. It's not moving. Um, there was a fisherman down here earlier and there's been a couple of them uh, knocking about. So I think they've been obviously um, hanging around him hoping that um, they're gonna get some food. But this thing has been sitting here and it's just being lit. Um, the, the, the light's coming in from the side um, hitting some of the stream. I put on the longer lens now, so I'm on the, the 70 to 200. Um, I have a three stop ND on, and um, I've actually pulled an ND on just for the, for the foliage. So basically, even though there's not much sky in the scene, I'm actually using it because the, the trees are so bright and the leaves are so bright and the foreground is quite dark. I'm actually still using a grad and pulling it down on the trees, and it's just helping me to balance so that I'm still retaining all the colour, um, all the lovely, lovely autumn colour in the trees, but also it's bringing out some of the shadow detail in the rocks and in the water. And as I say, the light's just cutting across the water, so it's not lighting it at all, but it's, oh, it's just, I'm just so, I'm just so happy, so happy that I actually stayed. And I guess this is kind of proof that, you know, when you're in a location, and you know I've been here maybe two or three hours now and was starting to get a little bit disheartened because I've come here and I pretty much was stood you know down there so maybe less than 10 feet away and I've come back and it's 
within a couple hours, the, the whole thing has completely changed. The scene has completely changed. And I was thinking, you know, I'm going to come back here whenever the light's flat and there's clouds in the sky because I didn't like the way half the scene was dark and half the scene was bright. But now the light is just, it's just really transforming it. And I'm just, I'm really glad that I've stuck it out. So yeah, a little tip if I can give you, we found this, if you watched my first Iceland video when we went to Esterhorn, we sat about for quite a while waiting on the light to hit the, the peaks and thankfully it finally did, but it was a long wait, um, but it was worth it. So this is the thing, don't give up too early, definitely wait things out and um, yeah, I'm, I'm so happy I've, 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 I've done that because I just really love, I really love the shot and the composition I've got now.